All right, your friendly neighborhood huge movie fanatic Nate coming right back at you again with another video. This is a video, one of these newfangled, cool ass, not a movie review, but a just a video about my thoughts about something. In this case, the something is the Halloween Blu-ray collection box set, whatever the hell it's officially called, where uh, very much like last year's Friday the Thirteenth, yes, Blu-ray uh, complete collection, complete as of this point, two thousand fourteen. Um, the Halloween franchise is going to follow suit this October, or I think, I can't, maybe September, actually, with a, uh, a collaboration between Anchor Bay and, and Shell Factory, because Shell Factory put out the uh, two Universal ones, which is Halloween uh, 2 and 3, and Anchor Bay has probably had the rights to all the other, not all the other ones, but like 1, 4, and 5 anyway. And then, you know, it'll be interesting, well, yeah. <laughs> no one, uh, well, there has there has been, of course, official releases of everything on DVD, but not on Blu-ray. Um, so, um, I was the biggest when I was 12. I mean, Michael Myers was, to me, just Elvis. You know, I was the biggest, when I was 12, I was the biggest Halloween fan there was. It was just, Michael Myers was the coolest thing in the world to me, and you know, all this and that, and... You know, since then it's kind of, well, not kind of, very much gone the opposite direction where, you know, it was all fine and good for a while, but I'm not the biggest Halloween movie, like, fan anymore. I mean, particularly because, I mean, let's face it, the Friday 13th franchise up up through, like, 7, 1 through 7, and yes, I'm even including New Beginning, which I love, is so consistent and just so, you know... Each one up, you know, like one through seven for me is just, you know, just great, you know. And there's so much about every one of those movies for me that's lovable. And the Halloween movies, I mean, when you look, <laughs> when you look at them as a franchise, you know, as it stands from now, from part one through whatever the hell it is, including, you know, Rob Zombie 1 and 2 and stuff, it's just like a disaster, you know. That doesn't help my current thoughts on the Halloween franchise at all, but, you know, and then obviously, like, Halloween uh, Resurrection is just atrocious, and in retrospect, 6 is pretty, you know, not so great either, and it's just a, it's just a series that I don't understand how things went so shitty, but um, to make a long story short, I'm, I'm not particularly planning on getting this unless, you know, it ends up being, I don't know, a lot less, a lot cheaper than it's initially, you know, says it's going to be now. I mean, you know, I have all the movies, you know, I have some of them, I have one, two, three, and uh, yeah, the two Rob Zombie ones on Blu-ray. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I pretty much, if I watch them at all, I only watch them once a year. You can probably tell what time of year I watch them around. It's right around Easter, you know, right before, like three weeks, two weeks as Easter counts down. And, you know, I'll watch the last one on e That's a joke. But sometimes I don't even watch them. You know, I mean, I, I barely watch these things. And for me, especially not ever watching them, the DVDs is fine for never watching them. You know, like four and five and, you know, six and... You know, H2O's. I like H2O, you know. We, me and Matt have reviewed all the Halloween movies, so feel free to search, hunt down those reviews on this channel here, and if you'd like to. Not until you've finished watching this video, though. Which is probably going to be over pretty soon anyway. I just wanted to give my thoughts. Um, apparently, you know, the only thing that would interest me about this set is, I can't remember, you know, off the top of my head, all of, all of the, whatever they call it, extras or supplemental content, but I know that I'm pretty sure I saw that John Carpenter, there's a, there's a new, because last fall like a new Blu-ray came out, which I might, which I'll probably review maybe <clears throat> later on in the fall, because I don't want to do it, and it just seems stupid to, you know, except for talking about, I want to talk about this, so, um, with a new commentary with, you know, that they had just recorded last year, I think, with, uh, if I can briefly say Jamie Lee Curtis and John Carpenter, and it was very, 
that's pretty much why I got it, along with the just documentary of Jamie Lee Curtis was kind of interesting. It wasn't very expensive, it was like $20. But the commentary, I guess I'm kind of reviewing the Blu-ray now, <laughs> with Jamie Lee Curtis and John Carpenter that was, you know, presumably recorded last year was so uncomfortable. You could tell they were just like butting heads. Oh, it's uncomfortable. Oh, J.B. Lee Curtis said something like, something depressing, which is true, but just kind of depressing. She's like, we're never going to be doing another one of these commentaries again, so just t just say it. Just be truthful, just say it, or whatever. <laughs> and I was like, that was just, I don't know, kind of depressing, because, you know, she's right. They're never going to be together again doing a Halloween commentary for Halloween ever again. But having just, having had her say that out loud was just like, oh man. They probably won't. That's this is was just depressing. So what I was getting at is when I briefly looked over the features on this collection, is it, it looked like there was like a third new commentary with I think Tommy Lee Wallace and potentially someone else, Nick Castle maybe. And uh, you know I was kind of Tommy Tommy Lee Wallace is kind of I don't think he's you know an idiot. I kind of like him as far as just whatever. He's been a part of these movies for a while and stuff. And I'd kind of like to hear that, but I don't. You know, obviously think it's worth getting the whole collection just to hear that. And then I, I don't don't quote me, but I want to say I almost I almost want to say there was a commentary for, uh, but maybe it's on the Shelf Factory Blu-ray of two. I don't have the sh I have the Universal Blu-ray of two and the Shelf Factory Blu-ray of three. But I want to say there was a commentary with John Carpenter for two, which I thought was weird, seeing as how he probably isn't too proud of his involvement with that movie. So I don't know. But it, long story short, you know, obviously I'd like to see the producer's cut of, you know, Halloween 6. But again, is it worth buying this whole collection for? Not really. I have, you know, one, two, three, and both Rob Zombies on Blu-ray already. <sighs> Gosh, this video is real. I gotta end this. But so that, that's my particular point of view as it stands right now of the Halloween collection. I do like the art that is shown, which I'll probably, you know, which you've probably seen in this video. Um, you know, the, oh, another thing that's stupid about this release is there's like a just a plain old release, and then there's like a limited super duper release, which is which features more features, <laughs> which I which is really stupid. I think. At least Friday the 13th, I don't think, did that with their collection. They just, you know, one collection. Another thing that's gay, and this goes for Star Wars, Friday the 13th, and, and Halloween collections, is like, on the Star Wars box set Blu-ray, it's like the complete saga, which of course now is not true, and Friday the 13th Blu-ray box set says the complete collection or whatever, which, you know, someday won't be true, and it's just like, I don't know why they have to write that on there. They should just say one through whatever it is at the time. Don't say whatever. That's another problem with, you know, with these. I don't know why. I mean, they goddamn well know there's going to be more. Why do the complete collection? <sighs> so there's my thoughts, which has probably went on way too long. I apologize. Of the grandiose Halloween Blu-ray complete collection as of this point, 2014. And... You know, I, like I say, I don't, at this point, I don't plan on getting it. So, to all you people who wanted me to get it, I apologize. I had to break it to you that uh, I probably will not be getting it because I don't watch these movies barely at all. You know, I just might check out, and this is on a good year, one, two, and maybe three every fall or something like that. And by then, I'm just Halloweened out, and I don't really bother with any more of them, so... Excuse me. Thank you very much for watching, and my apologies if this video went on way too long. Catch you next time.